According to the workers, the thieves got in by smashing this glass right here and then climbing in through the space between where the bars end and the top of the door. Well, they have now since put in new bars to block out that space. But tonight, footage from this camera right here shows all four suspects. All right, home, when you hold this, hold this light. Footage shows the accused thieves preparing, first looking into the window, shining a flashlight, one holding a gun, before another smears something over the camera lens. Cops say they then proceeded to break into Dominion Defense and steal 53 firearms from inside between 3 a.m. and 4 a.m. on Saturday, April 29th, then made off in this car that police say was stolen from a Fairfax City dealership. One stolen gun is a big problem. When you have 53 guns stolen, that's a very large problem. Police say one of the suspects, 20-year-old Cedric Antonio Minger of Brandywine, Maryland, was arrested on May 22nd at a home in D.C. by the ATF. He's been charged with burglary and larceny of firearms. So far, 15 of the 53 guns stolen have been recovered. Police say 11 were found in the home he was arrested in. Four firearms were recovered through a variety of different investigative stops. Investigators say one of the stolen guns was recovered from a young person who brought it to a school in D.C., aimed it at another student and pulled the trigger. But fortunately, it wasn't loaded. As for the other stolen guns, cops want to know where they are. It's, it's obviously people who probably shouldn't have a gun or are going to use this gun for uh, the wrong intentions. And police are now offering a reward of up to $11,000 for information as they search not only for the three other suspects, but the guns that are still missing. If you have any information, you are asked to call police. In Springfield, I'm Katie Lasso, WUSA 9.